<laughs> Robin. Where's Guy Fieri? Get him the fuck in here. We're busy. Oh, what an intro. Hey, Guy, how are you, brother? I'm good, brother. Uh, I like the intro, though. Oh, yeah. I, I'm a big doing? fan because you, you went from kind of just traveling around the country eating really badly to becoming a huge star with this uh but you see this petite, you see this petite dancer's figure and you think i eat badly i mean you did this that is 210 of you, you know dropped some you dropped some you pounds dropped it for a no that's it it's that camera man is that what it is i camera. ran into a guy one time the guy says uh man you're not as fat as you're on tv <laughs> i said is that a compliment <laughs> yeah, he says and i said no me. the camera adds five pounds yeah. what's got five cameras yeah <laughs> oh that minute to, oh. that minute to win it <laughs> that minute to win it i'm hooked oh that's i watch I, walk I told up. Anthony it's the old beat the clock. <laughs> That's what it is. It is. And, uh, so why not call it beat the clock? I think, I don't know. Someone gets money for beat the <laughs> so, clock. Someone, yeah, someone <laughs> gets, a, someone gets coin. You should see. Did you see the episode where the kids from San Jose, California, five kids, mm -hmm. won a half million? I walked off that, man. I, I slept for like 12 hours after that. It was the adrenaline rush gets so high. Right. You know, the, the, the what's going on stage and what you guys see and like that, the way it comes off. Sure. Is really what's going down. It's nuts. Yeah, and uh, when, when are the new episodes? Uh, we sh <laughs> we only shot sixty two episodes last year. Uh, so, wow. Yeah, so we took it really easy. Wow. We started with eight, and we kept going back in, and and uh, the show had such good, po you know, such popularity. So we're shot up until July, and then hopefully we'll jump back in and rock it again. Oh, okay. So they're, they're already done in the can. But yeah, the, the Christmas ones were great. Listen, they were. <laughs> I no. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm embarrassed I show, to say. I show back up. You know, I'd been gone for like two months. We'd been doing Triple D, and I have a show on another show on Food Network called Guys Big Bites. So I was shooting that, and I came back and said, "Hey, we do some holiday specials. Can we get you in two weeks?" Yeah, I'll be there. And I show up, and man, they just this, my producers blow it out though. Right. When did you do the Christmas episodes? Like July? <laughs> yeah, we did those in uh, May. No, actually, we did them like it was actually like three weeks before uh, okay. they came out. They had to turn them pretty quick. I always love when you have to make believe it's Christmas in the middle of summer for some. Dumb TV show. It, it wasn't <laughs> yeah, as bad as that. that I did shoot a show one time. We did a Christmas special at Disney that we had to shoot a year in advance. Wow! At Christmas time though, because Disney only a sets year? up a year in advance. You know, my kids, my kids, my five year old was like, you know, four, a little bit younger. But they changed so much in that year, and then people look at them and go. Do you have another kid? Right. Is your kid sick? Yeah, exactly. there, <laughs> what are you feeding? Him? Look weight? how he's grown. Right. <laughs> uh, you got the cookbook out, huh? Guy Fieri. Yeah, what's going on food, there? Food, cooking it, loving it, and then oh, living it and then loving it, right? Well, love, live, love, cook. What you know? Whatever. It, whatever the, the, the whole idea. It, well, they had to have a tagline, and they wouldn't give. It, that was like my ninth choice. <laughs> they wouldn't let me put exactly. I don't get to. I don't have the open airwaves like you cats got. So <laughs> I had to put something. But it's this is. I mean, if you're a chef and you've been cooking all your life, you have that idea that one day I'm going to do the book. You know, it's going to be like yeah. the mother of all books. And we did the Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives books. You know, we rocked those. We did, uh, you know, like six, seven seasons of that. And those books got uh, New York Times bestseller. So that was a really cool thing. So finally I said, okay, I'm done doing that book. i got to do my recipes this time. Right. So it's, a, it's about 150-plus recipes. And it's recipes with the stories in the background, just all the information. Like if we sat there and had a, you know, five-hour wrap session about what do you need to be a chef and what do you got to have in your kitchen everything from equipment to you know when to buy mushrooms to this whole thing mm -hmm. but the recipes are pretty uh, the recipes pretty is, gangster is there a salad recipe in there for jimmy because he's he's watching this i'm trying to watch what i eat i like uh, well done salmon um <laughs> like sal <laughs> salmon i'm trying very hard to eat healthy and good <clears throat> what we was, all try to eat healthy that? in this room you do. I saw you shoveling yeah. down yoga before I, I walked in. Well, don't tell anyone. No, it's good for you. Uh, I know. We but. need it. You know what? It's not about as much what. I mean, I think you got to watch what you eat, but it's moderation. Yeah. That's really the kicker. Mm -hmm. And when people see Triple D, they'll go, oh, so you're that dude that eats all those cheeseburgers. Quite frankly, I'm not a big fried food guy. I'm more like a Asian food guy. I mean, I eat some Hong Kong noodle at 7 a.m. <laughs> um, but it's about moderation. Mm -hmm. And in the book, we do. Yeah, there's some steaks in here, you guys. There's some food you'd like. Bloody Mary flank steak. Uh, mojito chicken, Damn. sangria prawns. Love to cook with the booze a little bit, you know. Yeah, kinda, huh? that's nice flavor. Works as a good tenderizer. Are sure. you a boozer? Not, not as much. Not I mean, I mean, don't not get me as wrong. Much. Not, not as much. Not as much. I mean, I had my days in school, but I mean, I know John Daniels pretty well. Yeah, you know, he's a good cat. <laughs> so what, when you're eating all that horrible food, as soon as the cameras go off, you're puking, fingers down the throat. Not, not, again, not so much. <laughs>
I take a couple, I'll take two or three bites. I'll, sometimes I want to eat the whole thing, but I make my producers take it because if I eat it, I'll go into food coma. Um, and I pick the food that we do on the show. And if you really watch it, very, very little bit is fried. We try to do a lot of ethnic restaurants. I'm into ethnic food. I like to see what, you know, what to kind of show this, you know, the spice of life that we have going on in the United States. I and mean, we've got mm-hmm. a lot of funky joints in this country. Yeah, we do. You just got to get off the beaten path. You can't go to the chain joints. You got to go nah. out to these little mom and pop places. What makes a great, honestly, what makes a great show? I can't cook for shit. I, it's it's like, is, is it a feeling? Like, uh, how do you just know what's going to work? Because I literally will stand in the kitchen. I'm, I'm just, I, I hate like, it. What do I do? I now? can't do anything there. Well, it's, it's like me singing. I mean, I love music. I love, I love every aspect of it. I, I've got some rhythm, but I can't sing. I, I, I mean, I think it sounds awesome until uh, the doghouse, you know. But I'm on stage with Sammy Hager. We cook together, and uh, and you know, he's up there, and I'm <laughs> we're rocking out. I'm thinking I'm doing so awesome, and at the end of it, he pushes my mic away and grabs me around. And he goes, "Hey guys, isn't it great that he can cook?" Oh, <laughs> like, oh shit! <laughs> Scorned by Hager. <laughs> I think it is something though. That's like an art. Uh, you you could give somebody a canvas and a brush and some paint and say hey paint something nice you have all the equipment you need you have the instructions in front of you but you're not gonna be able to do something like an artist can and i really do think that a good chef uh, has that in them that because i could look at a recipe card i could have the pots and pans i need all the ingredients add it in and technically put in everything that needs to go in but it'll taste like shit. Well, and it's it's truly that. Well, it's, but look at your craft. I mean, look at how you guys do. You take any exactly, topic. Horribly. Yes. No, but look at, no, you take any topic. I, I, had a, I had a small food and wine radio show out of the wine country in NorCal where I live. And just trying to stay focused was always my ah, difficulty. Yeah. But you guys, so everybody has their craft or has their talent. And But I will tell you this. It, cooking is so intimidating for people because they're scared of screwing up. And <laughs> I have the some of the fattest Rottweilers um, that I just oh, show. there you go. Yeah, I mean, I don't make every recipe, Here's right? It's not like you, yeah. number one. Here, Here you go. go. Enjoy this. Yeah. Take it away. 40 yeah. pound chihuahua. Hey. I think what Anthony <laughs> was saying, though, is we can play the notes, but we can't make the music. Oh, yes. Shit. Jimmy, that is Profound. exactly <laughs> what I was saying. <laughs> Profound. Thank you. <laughs> what, do you know Do you know the, um, how do I say I would have been out on the, that one, by the way. I would have just said, thank you, good night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was the, what was the uh, most unhealthy thing you ever ate when you were doing the TV Me show? Me or him? You, you Jimmy? No, what was her name? Start with Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy might enjoy. He might enjoy a trend here once in a while. We're not. We're not sure. But, he, he but at tells, least the options. You know, he's got options. He tells Absolutely. a good tale. We're not really sure if it's uh, if it's real or not. Uh, the, the tale? Who <laughs> did? Um, you know, I don't know. It's uh, I pick the stuff I want to eat. And then I always know that people, if I go to a restaurant and they've got pig ear sandwich, I know that if the, you know, five of us went rolling into this joint in Omaha and there was pig ear sandwich, one of my buddies would be eating pig ear sandwich. I just happen to be the buddy that has a camera on him, so I eat the pig ear sandwich. But I'll tell you, I was at this one joint and we were, we were, uh, shooting and they had, uh, sweetbreads, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a real big fan of, of the parts of the animal that had a job. (laughs) If it filtered or pushed or licked or, you know, it's just a lot of job. Yeah, poor thought. Thank you. Yes. Or processed, oh, and so God, they had sweetbreads, which are good if you know. But they did their sweetbreads a little al dente, so they were still a little bit runny, kind of like runny. Oh, and so, so I shovel in some wait, of the sweet. Wait, 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 wait! I don't even know what a, what a sweetbread is. It's a gland. Yeah, from what a sheep. No, a steer or a calf. Okay, you know. but yeah. Continue. So they so they so they they, put, they serve up the sweetbread and uh, and um, I, I got it in my mouth and I'm whew, I'm getting a little jowl sweat. You know, but uh. it's like I'm not processing you so well. So I reach up into the window of the of the restaurant to grab uh, something fried to maybe like the crunch and the salt to help wash it down. Yeah. And what I reach up and grab, fantastic. How about a little little lamb fry, a little lamb nut? <sighs> so, oh no. I, yeah, it was it was it didn't go. What well. a bad day. Yeah, but I pulled Bad it off. Day for I pulled eating. it off. Didn't hit the camera with it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't explore food wise. I'm very stuck in what I like. I can go to different restaurants. I'd like to have a gentleman's meal, but I can't uh, like try far exotic food. <laughs> oh, meat potatoes kind of guy. Exactly, sushi. <laughs> what is a gentleman? <laughs> a gentleman's meal means. I am truly white trash, but I like to eat someplace that has a fine dining experience. But like, see, you're not as bad as Sam and, and Kenny. We got mm. two weirdos on this show that don't like eating. Sam's the worst. Sam, Sam doesn't like steak. God. Ooh. Well, you know what? A lot of people say they don't like something, and I'll go back to the beginning of when did you first discover you didn't like it? Yeah. Well, it's because somebody usually cooked it really, really improperly. Or yeah. guy. Well, Talk to him. Sam was molested we, we tried. with a steak. Do you want to do a conversion oh. program? I'll come back. I'll bring the. I'll bring steak. I'll oh, bring it man, in a couple yeah. different forms. I mean, you do it the right way. You're, but then some people just get mental about the flesh thing, and then they're how, how there's no saving them. 
I, what's on the table? Oh. But he'll eat chicken. I, I will guarantee. So it's not like a flesh thing. You cannot uh, make this guy enjoy steak. Can I have a little pre-interview I guarantee- before yes. I make this decision? I well, mean, I don't want to yeah. do pink slips on the not, Corvette or anything. <laughs> in all fairness, you're not the first to try. He's really? A, he's a big wrestling fan. So we figured Mick Foley, big wrestler, right? He's going to feed Sam steak. This is a dream come true for Sam. He hated it. How did you have the steak, Sam? I don't know how. How do they cook it? It was the, he doesn't even they know were here from a restaurant. Like. It was like good steak. It was it was, it was, it was real it was good very, steak. Very nice filet mignon yeah. from a very nice restaurant. Very tasty. Was amazing. And what in what factor of of you and steak do you not enjoy? I mean, I, I've got a Bloody Mary flank steak in here. Bloody Mary, you gotta like Bloody Marys. Oh, man. <laughs> No? I don't know. You I don't, don't like drink. Bloody Marys either. Well, we're lost then. There's I know. I, know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't like Bloody really Mary. Is. Okay, so what, what is it about steak you don't necessarily enjoy? Well, I don't. I can. I don't, I'm very specific about what foods I like, and there's more foods I don't like than foods I like. And steak. Do you like hot dogs? Be, no. Just like the way they're shaped. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Eating them though. <laughs> Sitting on them frozen. Guy. Yes. I'm telling you, you uh, met your match. God. How old is your youngest kid? Five. That's a, that's how he eats. Really? Yeah. We can okay. Hang then out how about we give you a cookie after dinner? Fish I would eat a cookie. <laughs> what, do you, what do you like? Like uh, chicken, chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. Fingers, not chicken. Well, I eat any kind of chicken. Fish sticks. Fish sticks. You eat any kind of chicken. Pizza yeah, as long bites. As it doesn't have a bunch of sauce on it. Yeah. Not a bunch of sauce. Right. What, I don't what like is sauces. your favorite thing? What's your go? What's your go? <laughs> no, you don't want to know. Your fried go chicken. With. Fried chicken. Chicken fingers. Fried chicken. Yeah. That's it. You're a skinny dude for a fried chicken fan. <laughs> yeah, that'll go away. You're, so what is it? I mean, I just got to get the foundation of it. What is it about? Say, is it texture? Well, it's just a, it, the, mentally, there's something I can tell by looking at foods, whether I like them or not. <laughs> mentally. Yeah, I know. Men- oh. The food mentalist. I, yeah, this yeah. Is, I, know. I can he, predict I will not like this. Yeah, he's also a horribly mothered. His mother still does his laundry. So yeah. what happened was he was growing up, and mother allowed him to get away with this instead of slapping his horrible mother face. Mother allowed this. Yeah, yeah, she should have forced him <laughs> we, to eat what she wanted. We get really mad, but he's happy this Have you ever way. had a carne asada taco? No. Oh. Okay, listen. I'm not. Ta- I'm not backing down on this. <laughs> this is not. This is. This cannot go this way. So you don't like hot dogs? You like sausage? No. <laughs> yeah, do you, he's. Do you like wreck. beef jerky? No. Do you like like any type of soup that has any beef flavoring? I don't like soup. Jeez! <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. Not in the traditional sense. Kidding. Do you have any recipes? If it's yeah. shot on his back, he enjoys it. <laughs> <laughs> a nice chowder. <laughs> if you have any recipes that include pizza rolls, yep. yeah, that's, yeah. that's the time to, to do you bring like, that out. I mean, do you like pizza with sausage on it? No, no, no. Just regular pizza. Well, regular pizza does have sausage on it. No, regular cheese pizza. Just cheese pizza. He he would like I'm things that are you. in boxes in the frozen food yeah. section that you could pop in. Like, I, listen, I hope a lot of people don't follow suit to this. I could be out of job out of you know this. Oh yeah, yeah. That's rough. No, he he's like a, a child. Out. Although on the road he with does. him at Comic Con last year, he did eat. Mm-hmm. No, we ate in um, a Morton's one night in uh, the Palm. What did he have? He ate the, the Christopher chicken. It was fine. It's fine. It's chicken. What else do you have with the chicken? I forget. Bread? Bread, nothing. Mashed potatoes? Oh no, I don't eat mashed potatoes. I don't like, like mashed potatoes. I love potatoes. But what everybody here has got some interesting... Is there a banana in that burrito? It's not a burrito. What, what is that wrapped yeah, up in? Is, is, I, I'm looking over and I don't want to eavesdrop on your thing. food, but that looks like a banana burrito. This is an energy wrap. Oh. And it's got banana, Ooh. peanut butter, Ooh. You have the Granola. spectrum of people. Wow. Raisin. With honey drizzled there on a whole wheat uh, wrap. Where'd you get that? Yeah, we At want to- one of those. That's crazy. At Toasties. He loves Toasties. <laughs> yes. Toasties is so good. <laughs> he loves Toasties. Yes. That's what he calls his socks. <laughs> what did I walk <laughs> into? <laughs> I know. A you, madhouse. If you came in <laughs> here when, when, when I was eating, because I only eat at about, uh, seven, uh, about 8 o'clock. Not 7 o'clock. I have a couple of slices of turkey on white toast with one slice of American cheese uh, at seven in the morning. This, by the way, is his hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is your hell. What is this, like an intervention? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, the, 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 the book of my life, and these yes. guys are, I've got the banana burrito guy and the turkey white toast and, and Mr. No Eating Hot Dog. lunch at seven in the morning guy. No, but Who? he has to hear everybody's shitty diet. Like, people tell yeah. me jokes. People will say, hey, I talk about this on the radio. <laughs> and this poor guy, everywhere he goes, you know what I like, and they have to, he has to fucking feign interest. <laughs> this crap. I know. And, you, and right. you probably thought doing a radio show is a no-brainer, because 
because most radio guys are really fucking fat. Oh, yeah, we eat everything. Really are awful. Kind of easy. We try to keep radio shape here, pretty, guy. right? No, you guys, this is you bring your gloves on. I, now, do you like? I mean, I love clams. I, I'm on the clam page. I think most of the ah, guys so here to do. speak. What is the clam uh, recipe here? <laughs> that's clam with chorizo. I think that's the one with chorizo. Nice. Um, you, know, you take Spanish or Mexican chorizo. Sure, clams have chorizo such great flavor, such a predominant nice. flavor, but they can they can share the the plate. You put a little chorizo in there, and you get some of that spice, a little bit of the fat mm. coming through it. Put it on pasta, or sometimes I'll take them right out and put it on a little crostini, like in that recipe there. Vinegar? Huh? A little vinegar? Come on. All right. Bring it. You have you taught that stuff? Very like, good. you know to put that on there? Or, or do you, is that something that you're like, you know what? I just know that that stuff would go to well. Like pasta and that would just go well together. You need a balance of salt and sugar and acid and spice in everything. I mean, there really needs to be, even in even in cereals. You know, you like a cereal and you like the uh, you, you like the, the sweet side of the cereal. You also like that little salty side. It's that contrast that really creates oh, yeah. so much. And that's, that's what happens so often is you'll see, you taste something and then you'll just kind of find out is is it lacking in the contrast acid usually the one that they're lacking in hmm. but in the book like this sangria glazed shrimp so we do uh, a reduction of wine we do a re- it has a little bit of honey it has a little bit of sugar and then you put in a little bit of sherry you know a little dry sherry so you get a little mm, you know, crazy but you take this like and you drizzle scrimps. you drizzle it i like them i like them scrimps yo <laughs> you wine see I, I gotta tell you though it is hard to show up with a book and no food i think That's this is funny. wrong i think i, I, know. I have to talk to I'm I'm looking at this going like, ah, oh, God. He's describing cooking like Clemenza. This is a though. scratch and sniff page, <laughs> though. If you... See, I think what happened, you became a big star with the minute to win it, so now you don't have to cook anymore. I'm no, 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 no. So no. now you just bring the book. I Chef... bet you a couple years ago you would have had some fucking burners in here. Chef first and foremost, and still sticking to that. When I retire, it'll be little restaurant on the beach, Mexico. Oh, man. You know, open the door when I want, you know, serve when I want. Nice. This is what I do. I mean, I own five restaurants in the wine country oh. and uh, some crazy joints, though. One's called Johnny Garland. Which is kind of like California Italian, so it's you know fresh made everything. But we just we do a lot of fusion, like tequila, turkey, fettuccine. Alfredo, I think you'd like that one. Holy shit! You like tequila? <laughs> Any of the no, sound good? Drink. Jesus. <laughs> I know. Did, did, the, cl- did what, the clam sound good? Nothing. I don't eat fish. No, seafood. no seafood. Not, not, not hell is He literally eats him. five things. Exactly. There's no way I would eat clam. His mother should have backhanded really? him, forced him to eat. Have you ever? You, have you ever had a clam? No. You say. It. Uh-huh. <sighs> Wow. I mean, how do you know you don't like it then? I know, it's my yeah, Why don't you eat a clam? Yeah. Because I can tell. Get down it's there. Like, I can look get at it down and there and eat that clam. You guys yeah. can order That's up. Not I'm going to the, I'm gonna give you the book. We can, the next time oh, we yeah. do this, I'm going to let you order up your top three. Oh. We'll come back and we'll make them. Would you really come back and cook? That would no, rock, I'm not, I'm not joking. Would, Had I known rule. that this was going to be the, a weird this show? So, no, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I want, one, I want to go into some training. I want to, <laughs> yeah, I want to yeah. go get 20 of my, my fraternity brothers and have them sit there and rant at me and see if I can, see if I can hang for half an hour. By the way, people. I'm a restaurant owner guy. I heard. So, yeah. In Huntington. Yeah. What? Yes. Who gave you that? No, I was talking. You're, yeah, F.H. Uh, Riley's. My brother actually is an amazing chef. He really is. I, I'm just a fucking silent partner. I just, I just fucking pull the residual. I just gave him some money. Yeah, but and you that, and he did. But you rest. look good going in. Yeah, that's it. That's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know shit about this. But you like to eat. Yeah. Yeah. I think but that's I, one I, of know the. That, know yeah. what it is with me? I like tasty, healthy. That's it. Is that bad? Well, he's not I bad at all. I don't like suffering, so I don't eat just a fucking dry salad. So I try to find stuff that is healthy but tasty. Not easy. It's you're getting a better experience now in food than probably you've seen in the last 50 years. Mm-hmm. Organics are becoming affordable. Organics. So when you do, when you eat an heirloom tomato versus a mm-hmm. regular old five by five tomato that was ripened in a hot house or ripened right. in, a, in a warehouse with you know with gases, you get these experiences now in food that are just mind blowing and and uh, hormone free beef and and you know uh, uh, heirloom pork and all these different things that are coming about. So mm-hmm. you're in the right zone and it's not. People think oh healthy okay i gotta have the banana no, burrito i would, I would rather know, it's not, <laughs> it's not no it's but it's out there and you just got to find the joints that are doing it and books like this like oh. i don't try to make my stuff complicated i don't want a bunch of stuff added into right. it right quick and simple baby you want to meet the opposite of sam <laughs> the guy yeah. taking the pictures yes oh he my will God. eat anything yes. not he'll eat clams and that camera yeah <laughs> <laughs> he is the complete opposite he has he has never turned down a well he's turned down salads i'm sure but he doesn't turn down a meal ever Holy you know that when we were talking about what you eat and how much you eat and how the size of people. If I was an exchange student in France and we ate everything, even at school lunches, we ate it in courses. And you eat a little bit really? and then you yeah. wait and they're going to serve another course. And you're like, come on, where's the food? But you'll eat less, you'll enjoy it more, 
because you've got to savor those like six or seven mm-hmm. bites you got of this risotto or whatever it is in front of you. And then you wait, and then you have a little conversation, and then you, and your body, your stomach catches, your head catches up with your stomach. Mm. Because oh. it's when you eat so fast. I mean, look at us how we go. You go to some buffet and you load up all this food. By the time you consume it all, your mind, your mind hasn't even caught up yet that you're full. And then, then you're all like, of a sudden, oh, then you go into overfull. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We don't uh, know that, but we don't stop until we, all, yes. we get the message. My mind Make, says eat until you're physically shitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to talk to what does the dinner table look like? Uh, yeah. It's not good, guys. It's a porta potty. That's not good, man. He likes to tell another tale. We don't know if it's true. What? Uh, about logs hitting chests. No, no, <laughs> yeah, we don't really know. Iraq, uh, yeah. Iraq, though, a guy. Why don't you talk to Iraq? Because a guy is like two minutes. This early. guy loves his fucking food. Yeah. What, what's your What's your hands down favorite? Steak. There you go. Raw. I mean, we eat it right Lemon off the hook. in the bone. With the uh, with the bone, you like the a best. little bone in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I think that anytime you can eat, have the meat connected to a bone or associated with it, chicken in particular. If you ever have a chance to have chicken with the bone <laughs> yeah. versus just uh, the chicken tender or pounded out chicken breast, huge difference. The greatest thing E-Rock ever ate was the steak martini. <laughs> yeah. All right, what was in the steak martini? E-Rock? It was uh, yes. in a big martini glass. It was mashed potatoes with uh, cut up filet mignon with gravy. That's great. Come Combine a heart attack with a DUI. <laughs> <laughs> now, Roland. Uh, and Roland, uh, yeah, Roland. And Roland uh, also likes his food. I am a vegetarian. I kid. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, you you want to play a little game with Roland? Name Please. name uh, like a uh, a food uh, a particular food. He'll tell you the best place to get it in New York. He should be on your show. Really? Yeah, he should have one. his own. I I you can name app. donuts, fucking burgers, <laughs> anything. What do you got? Um, give me the give. Actually, we just have this debate on the way over here. Uh, let's talk about pastrami. Best pastrami. Oh, um, I have to say that the the Fantasia they roast on pastrami like uh, late at night <laughs> in the morning. If you like in the morning, they slice it. It's so delicious. <laughs> he knows. What is it? And I thought you picked the weird. Thanks for calling one. Movie Phone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, Welcome to Foodie Phone. Exactly. Oh my God. Guy has a hard out. You and, have to go. Uh, yeah, no, I don't go. Don't, don't listen to anybody. They don't know what they said. Just let him go. Lock the door. Lock the door. Jesus. But now, are you I playing your side? Beer. Are you playing your side of the game? Like, ah, don't Good listen cop, to them, but cop. you really have to go. <laughs> no, I do have a thing. We're, we're so yeah. we're launching the book. The book just came out today. Uh, and yeah. and, the, and the idea behind the book um, is we're doing we're visiting New York here for a bit. Then we're off to the Derby. You guys been to the Derby? I'm going, no. Derby? I'm going this way. Are you? Oh, yeah. brother, it's out of bounds. So you hit the Derby, and then we uh, home for a couple of days. And I'm doing a road show across the country, starting in South Carolina, ended up in Arizona, and it's a food rock and roll show. So we have a bunch of music, bunch of food, cooking, hanging out. Make I have a uh, 25 gallon blender that's six feet high. Jeez. I make cocktails with it. That wow. should be in the studio. That's crazy. I couldn't get to. Fort Knox wow, downstairs. So awesome. like, are you doing signings? Are you doing signings for this? Yeah, we're doing signings in New Jersey tonight and tomorrow. I'm going to guess Ridgewood bookends in, in New Jersey. Is that it? And uh, where where tomorrow? Barnes and Noble. Where here? Penn Station, Someone's Columbus. Signing that I know. The they're signing through the I glass. Think, it's I think they amazing. Said Penn Station, Barnes and Noble. No, it's a that's a Borders. Um, oh, it is Borders. Yeah, but uh, Barnes and Noble. Carl Place. Carl Place. Carl Place. Long Island. Oh, okay. Are you doing book review? On Everybody's Long in here now. <laughs> I know. Yeah. If you did it book- is amazing how the uh, food. Um, the whole uh, cook and, and chefs and, and the food channel, uh, everything has really taken off. Like in, in the years past, no one really, I mean, housewives would sit and watch Julia Child or something. But for the most part, now it's like uh, a lot more, if you could even call that like action, there's a lot more um, uh, interest that people have. It's such a, a crazy thing. I mean, I've been cooking since I was a kid. All I wanted to be was a chef, be a dad. That was my whole gig. <laughs> so I'm doing this. I got my restaurants in the wine country. One of them is called Tex Wasabi's, which is southern barbecue and sushi. Oh, man. Very, uh, well, here's the thing. You go and have sushi, you know, you kind of feel like, wow, that was great flavor, but I'm not quite there yet. Now, now you step over <laughs> to some ribs. But oh, So I was doing these restaurants, Fuck. and my buddies heard about this contest on Food Network called Next Food Network Star, and they dared me to do it just so I could look like an idiot. I swear they didn't care if I won or not. They just like, no, 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 my buddy Cletus. Come on, Greed, you can do it. So I, I do the show. I win the show. I get a cooking show. I thought, oh, that's cool. You know, I'll do this a couple times. But why would they need me? They got Emeril and Bobby and Mario and all these cats, and uh, they just didn't have anybody with tattoos yet and yeah, you know, yeah. little attitude. Well, they, there's attitude. but So uh, it just blows up. Then we do Triple D, and, mm-hmm. and things have been nuts. But I'm still a chef. I'm still a restaurant owner. and I'm still a dad. Someone is telling me to ask man. you about a Lamborghini. Did, oh, it got did you stolen? hear that? Jacked. Complete. No, I wasn't in it. So, where were we? We were in Chicago shooting Triple D. 
I'm sitting there. We're filming. Phone's blowing up in my pocket. So finally, I'm like, who, everybody knows not the car. I'm not looking. It's the dealerships. So call us immediately. And I'm thinking, like, because it was in for service. I've only had it for a year, but it had to get its, like, thousand-mile service. Oh, and the English guy comes on. It's an English motor coming. Uh, your car was stolen. <laughs> and I look at my film crew, and I go, if anybody's, you know, if I'm getting punked right now, someone's going to get smacked. You don't joke about a man's Lamborghini. Wow, man, that was, like, my big trophy shit. of my career. Oh. Someone broke in through the skylight. Repelled down, dressed as a ninja. No, no. serious. I got the video. <laughs> Holy shit. I got the video. I called oh, out on you man. dressed as a ninja with the with the tools hanging from the belt. Peruses the the dealership for 28 minutes and then steals my yellow Besides Giardo spider. Your... Magnets on the door, rolls it out, drives away, and they didn't know. Did you steal your own car? Listen, I've done something that would have been t- made for TV movie. So the car's gone, and it was it was a real bummer. Have you got it back? No, it's 86. It's gone, they man. have a shot of it at like 4.50 in the morning, driving, aclo- driving across wow. uh, San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge, and that was it. Maybe Pacino wow. is driving it blind uh, behind something. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's my, Jack my life. At the dealership. Amazing. It's, it's, Welcome to America. Uh, you got to go. Yeah. They're making, really yeah, they're, the, they're making, yeah. That means you're now a Now they're star. making a stink. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, and I'm serious. So thank you guys. Big fan. It, you, oh, you're hysterical, please. cats. I think that it's so great, great that you're un, that you're ready to just say whatever you can say now. And that's the whole transition. That's we we'd wait I have this years. in all my cars, so I think people oh, don't have satellite are missing great, it. Man. But uh, thanks for having me. And I'll tell you, the offer to come back and cook. I mean, I Definitely. will destroy please, the studio. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, great. And I will bring sushi. people that will Love shove steak in his mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the book is called Guy uh, Guy Fieri Food. Yeah. And uh, wait, the name? Am I missing that? Never know. Food. No, Guy Fieri, cook, Guy Fieri food. Cook it, and, love uh, it, love it's it. big enough. It's only like three and a half pounds, and it can work as a boat anchor, a small <laughs> weapon on the yeah. side. It's a heavy book. I'm yeah. glad heavy you book. Igno- you're acknowledging yes. that. No, we wanna, we you feel do like it. you're getting something. And science. Nice. <laughs> and and uh, the cool thing about it was, it's all. It's 30 years, man. It's everything from when I was a little kid to what I do now in my restaurants and on my shows. And so I figured, if I'm going to get one shot to do my own book, I better make it a big one. So up. tonight it bookends in Ridgewood, and there. then tomorrow Carl Place. Uh, uh, Barnes and Noble, uh, both great places for a sign. Cool, man. All right, we got to take a break. Thank you. Yeah, I guess you guys are awesome. Thanks. Thank you, guys.